Hello everyone. In this short video, we're going to take a look at policies with Azure API Management. So first, let's go ahead and jump into the portal. And let's go to our Azure API Management instance. Now, just like before, most of the reference we'll find is in the documentation. So in, in your Azure API Management documentation, underneath how-to guides, there is a define policy section here. And a lot of the stuff that we're, we'll, we'll be talking briefly about a few one of these things um, but if you ever need reference this is where you should go alright so back to our Azure API management instance in, in API management there's a couple of places that you can actually apply policies um, first and foremost you can always do it on an API level so inside of our API's you could go into the API itself and then on any one of these where you see policies this will pull up both the front end and back end policies and you'll see it here inbound outbound and you can apply these here. Now there's already a predefined list of snippets available for you, all kinds of different stuff um, from transforming to and from XML to JSON and back and forth, very common, um, and things like that, doing URL rewriting, um, all kinds of good stuff right in here. So the snippets can help you do that. Aside from just doing it on a single API, you can actually do it on all APIs. So on all APIs in this case, um, I've set up a course policy there to allow that um, on inbound, right? So that's great. So all APIs, an in individual API, and you can also set it on our products. So if you remember before, we had created this example product in one of our other things, and here on the left, you'll see policies. And this is where we're going to put our particular policy up today. Now, I have a pre-canned version here. I'm going to place it after the base. We want those to go ahead and implement first, and then we want our policy to implement after that. Um, and, and here it is. Let me just uh, clean that up a little bit. So we're going to say that based on the subscription key used, we're only going to allow it but for every 10 seconds you can make three calls. Um, this is just a very simple example, but there's tons of others that you could do, right? So let's go ahead and save this. And now if we go ahead and uh, go back to our Postman, which we've used before, and We've got our key and our, our request ready to make there. Uh, let's just go ahead and hit that. We should be successful. Right, and let's go ahead and hit it a couple more times. And then boom, now we've received the 403 rate limit exceeded. So you can see there that it's working in, in our uh, instance there for the rate limiting. So uh, I know that was a very quick video. Hopefully you got something out of that. Um, again, refer to the documentation because there's all kinds of things not only for transformation like we talked about um, we saw cores just briefly but all kinds of other great things caching uh, and, and lots of other stuff so refer to the documentation <clears throat> if you have any questions on what I've just covered feel free to leave a comment or reach out and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video